Now, what is the possible mechanism of interface? So that's what we have already discussed, but let us understand it a little bit more in detail. I told you the first thing, the first thing which stimulates the UV production or UV production is the UV rays. So the first thing which induces the production of melanin is the UV rays. So you have to protect the or you have to protect the skin from the UV radiation. Second, this UV rays stimulates the keratinocytes and these keratinocytes stimulates the adjacent melanocyte to produce more pigment. So you can you can block this stimulation. You can block this stimulation secondly to UV radiation. Next is inside the melanocyte, you have production of the pigment with the help of an enzyme tyrosinase, which convert tyrosine into dopa. So step two is you can block this tyrosinase, tyrosinase inhibitors, so many drugs. For example, we have hydroquinone, very famous and very commonly used depigmenting agent. It works by inhibiting the tyrosine to dopa. There is tyrosinase inhibitor. Next is what happens after, I told you, after the pigment production, the melanin, the melanosome, they mature and they ascend up in the dendrites and they are distributed to keratinocytes. So the maturation of melanosome and transport of the melanosome to the adjacent keratinocyte, this also get inhibited. This is our next step. So please remember to use the pigmented agents which work on either of these three or four steps.